Sometimes you find technology where you might not expect. Ex officio garments offer technology and features like stain and water resistant fabrics, pants that become shorts in an instant, indestructible buttons and security zip pockets, built in insect repellent, even UV protection and a multi position sun collar. Our clothing is technically designed from head to toe. Ex officio, made to last, made to protect, made to adventure. We are in uh, Montana, about 15 miles out of Enos, Montana. Uh, beautiful, picturesque landscape. We just passed over some nice river and we're ready to put the kayaks in it and start hooking up some trout. For many, fly fishing represents the angler's ultimate challenge, and there's no better place to cast a fly than the cold, flowing rivers of Montana. And so that's where Jim is headed. Jim's mission? To infiltrate Montana's top fly fishing rivers and steal the secrets of the fly. Our uh, guide is uh, Cole out of the uh, Bozeman Angler. You want to cast it downstream about 30 to 45 degrees. Right. 45 is probably a little much. We walk, actually got to go in their store today. Bozeman Angler is a beautiful little uh, fly fishing shop. Yeah, and there are lots of little details yeah. that when you're new, it's like overwhelming, too much to think about. So if somebody right. can tell you, well, you know, do this or don't do that, and that helps you out a little bit. Said, I've never, I haven't cast a fly since I was 12, and I've never caught a fish on a fly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hopefully today will be the day. Today is the day. <laughs> We're gonna it's do a it. good day. We're going to do it. <laughs> and I uh, got to talk to them, learn some stuff from them. And then, uh, like I said, we got Cole with us as our guide and uh, driving the drift boat. And then we got C.G. Feldman, who is the one we came here to fish with. He invited us to come fish with him in Montana. I feel like you've done this before. <laughs> Yeah. This isn't your I, first rodeo, you know, is it? Uh, I hate to say it, I started doing this in 1960. <laughs> is that at, right? At age nine, yeah. You better have figured it out by now. But you know, it's, it's not about landing the fish. Uh, out here, fishing is, uh, is uh, about the whole experience. You land the fish, it's icing on the cake. I mean, look back here. Everywhere you go here, it's just beautiful. And uh, Jeff, Bird's Nest out of Texas. Funny thing, or the, one of the coolest things about all this is I had a blast fishing with you guys in Texas, and when I got an email saying, "Hey, you want to come fish with us in Montana?" Aside from the fact it was Montana, just fishing with you guys again—I mean, it's always such a blast. So hanging out with you guys, I was I was signed on whether it was in Utah, Montana, Idaho, it didn't matter. But uh, just getting up here and seeing how beautiful and, and scenic and aesthetically pleasing Montana is—I was I'm blown away. And then my. Uh... My best little buddy, Randy, my son, who's, I can't call him little buddy anymore because he's taller than me now. <laughs> uh, 14 years old and taller than me. Wrong, wrong. Yeah, uh, hopefully I'll do better than my dad. Rainbow, what do you think? 15? Yeah, about 15. Right. Put him on the hopper. Thanks to Cole, we, just, we kept seeing some fish rising here and we just kept at it and cast after cast after cast. And I missed like four times it rise on it and I didn't get them. God, they're really beautiful fish, man. Ready? There he goes. Yeah. The fish are, are not cooperating a lot, but we're, we're having, a, an, again, a nice morning. We've got a late start, so we still have a lot of time to go, a lot of fishing to do today. So I think we need to work on uh, maybe a little bit of technique for Randy and I particularly, but uh, um, nobody else is really putting a bunch of fish in the boat either, so. There you go, Randy's on! Let's 
Yeah, yeah Randy! Randy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Ready? Good job. Release. Thanks, man. Job, Perfect. Brother. Nice. Nice job, Randy. Thank, thank your guide. Nice fish. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, good job. That was awesome, <laughs> man. Didn't want to kiss. He didn't want to kiss, did he? <laughs> oh man, my first fish on the fly off the kayak. Yeah, he went. <laughs> and uh, caught a few fish, did pretty well. And I think everybody had a killer day on the kayaks. And then I caught my first fish on the fly. Thanks to Bozeman Angler and a good night's rest at the Rainbow Valley Lodge, Jim has now figured out how to cast and catch fish on the fly. Next, the boys float the famed Madison River and put their new found skills to the test. What about Montana? And I'm like, duh, no problem. Well, I didn't know anybody was doing it, but... Well, I've, I've been coming here for 15 years and I've never seen a person fly fishing out of a kayak. Never. Dog, it's all right, it's all good. It's all good. I didn't get my skunk off, but I played that fish for a good two minutes and it was decent size. So I got, I might not have one fish, but I got three quarters of a fish at this point. We had a, a good night last night and uh, I need to get off the schneid today. I'm the last man standing without a fish. I need a good drink and get right. And a good drink and get right means a good fish. So we'll get going. Caught this brown that was just, I mean, talk, talk about knocking it out of the park. That was a grand slam. 
beautiful fish. I just saw all that. I just see him just reach down and grab the line and just pull this fish over, over into his lap. As he's lifting it, the line snaps, it lands on the deck, and he just dives for it like an animal, like, you're not getting away. <laughs> and the sad thing is, like Kendall said, I forgot that I had the net in the back of my boat, so I hoisted it in like a long line tuna fisherman. I think that's a big old brown. A big old tasty brown. Oh, Hell yeah, dogs. baby, that's what we're talking about. That's trout fishing right there. That's trout fishing right there. Absolute blast. Uh, turned out the fish was probably 22, 23 inches. Good sized brown trout, a trophy sized brown trout. Down in Texas, that's what we call playing possum. Sit back, <laughs> sit back on the rail for a couple days watching. <laughs> they come out swinging. It was rope a dope, baby, rope a dope. <laughs> After days of floating the river, the winds die down, giving the boys a chance to hit CG's favorite trout hole, Ennis Lake. Um, but the whole time we were going across the lake, we kept seeing fish coming up, rising on these flies, and it was really the most visual fishing we had had on the, the trip so far. Um, so everybody's blood was pumping, everybody was looking. It, it was definitely more of hunting. I mean, we were stalking these fish. Montana rainbow trout on Annis Lake. It's my biggest fish of the trip. There he goes. <laughs>